Hello, Arden here. Um, back with another Eve uh, Echoes Encounter mission. This is actually the first uh, of the um, expert missions, the uh, harder expert missions. So you can see this is a seven million bounty. Most of the uh, expert missions I've been picking up so far have been about two and a half to three million bounty. This one is a seven million bounty, which means it's in low sec, which means there is a chance that um, someone could come along and scan me down and try and interrupt. Um, I'm not too worried about that as I'm sort of playing during the Chinese workday. It's sort of very late in the US, so there's not many of the US players on. And for Euros, it would just be the start of the day and most of the Chinese are at work. So I, I found that doing encounters in this sort of time zone um, generally um, means I, I get left alone because normally you've only got a few random pilots around and they don't want to take on a fleet. In terms of my setup for this one, this is not my typical. I, I, when I've been doing low sec missions, I have been set up as a PvP, um, uh, a PvP setup. But in this case, I'm just going to try and blast through this encounter as quickly as possible. So I'll just quickly show you out my setup. It's rapid missiles. It's three um, uh, ballistic controls and also the missile tracking computer. And it's one only one shield and one a hardener. Uh, and that's the same on both my Ravens. So it's kind of more of a glass cannon DPS setup. Could be a big mistake. As I said, I've not run one of these slightly harder 7 million missions, uh, encounter missions uh, on the expert level yet. So this could be a big mistake, um, in which case you're just going to find out shortly. Um, but hopefully, I think because I have done 20 million uh, in the hard level, the kind of the top tier hard, uh, 20 million missions previously, I did them in setups similar to this. So I think. It should be good with my fleet of two ravens and the command cyclone. Uh, my command cyclone is a little bit more tanky because that's the one that always arrives first and it always seems to be the primary target for most of the NPCs. So uh, let's have a look at the situation before I warp in. Uh, we have got five people in more local, one is red, one is blue, and then there's the three people in my, my own gang. So I think I'm going to take the chance. Hopefully this won't take too long, so hopefully I'm not kind of exposed to getting scanned down for, for that long. So yeah, I'm taking a bit of a risk here. I haven't set up PvP for this because I'm finishing off the Concord Pass missions in high sec. So uh, when this one popped up, I thought I'll do the video uh, and I can't be bothered to change fitting, which again, could be a complete disaster. It could end up having a, a good laugh at my expense by the end of this. So anyway, here we go. Uh, I'll just quickly change my thing and uh, we will warp into the mission. Da, 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 da. Perfect bait tactics. Okay, let's turn my hardener on, and here we go. Let's see how long it takes to clear one of these seven million missions. So if you've been watching my videos, you will see that last time, again, I did use the rapid setup, the PVP setup, but um, well, there's a condor that just came in there, which is blue, so hopefully he's not gonna bother scanning me down. Um, so I did try the torpedoes, uh, and I found that actually the rapids were better. Uh, uh, right now. Okay, hang on. Uh, stop me talking for a second just because I need to make sure my. Just making sure my um, battle cruiser is okay. Alright, and then let's see how we go here. Apply all the damage. It's a typhoon. I picked the wrong target there, but okay. Yeah, my hurricane is going down quite rapidly. In fact, I can put my webs on now, which will help. So as you can see, this first wave is not particularly difficult. They are focusing on my cyclone at the moment, which is pretty okay. And what I will do is kill off some of these smaller things and then finish the typhoon. So I haven't really, haven't really focused my fire on this first wave, but that's okay. Uh, in fact, on, yeah. So it's probably going to be the last wave that will be the tricky one. But as you can see with this DPS setup, things do die quite quickly. The, the, the torpedoes I found were doing more damage on the larger targets. Uh, so the battle cruisers and the battleships, so they were, they were dying quicker, but then that wasn't made up with the, how long it uh, took to kill some of the smaller ships. So that's the first wave over. Uh, and we're going to focus on the Tempest here. So I'm going to get all my ships onto the Tempest. Uh, remove the DPS again just in case someone does warp in here I always find it well, I always think but maybe I'm wrong it would be better 
if the high DPS enemy, um, NPCs are off the field already, just in case someone walks in and I've got to deal with NPCs and, the, and a player character as well. So here we go with this one. So they're shooting my second Raven currently. Turn his shield on for a bit. Again, so far, not too difficult. It looks like we've got a Tempest at, uh, and a Cyclone, so a Battleship and a Battle Cruiser. Then uh, a Stabber Cruiser, a Talwar a Probe, and a Slasher. So uh, nothing too scary there. Actually, let's put my damage mods on again. Again, they're still hitting my second Raven, but again, I'm just shield boosting there. The nice thing with the Command Cyclone is the Command Cyclone reduces the amount of cap your shield boost uses by about 12%, um, which actually does make a big difference. It does mean you can run your shield boosters for a lot longer. Okay, and let's turn my webs on and slow this stabber down, make it easier to kill. So again, you can see I'm into my second wave now, about to go into my third wave. Hopefully no one will come in right now. I would kind of spoil things a little bit. As I said, I've, I've found that this sort of time zone, so during the working day in China, early EU and very late US, I found that actually running encounters is not that many people around. Okay, so we've got the Maelstrom here. I'm going to focus fire on the Maelstrom, focus fire approach, turn on my painters. And again, same on the other, my other Raven, focus fire approach, turn on the painters, and then finally, I'll do the same on my command cyclone approach. Having two, so I've got basically two target painters on both each ship, and they are targeting at the moment my command cyclone. So let's try and get this. Uh, he's in web range. He's in web range here, and then I'll let it auto target onto some of the smaller stuff. So again, if this is the third and final wave, it doesn't look too scary. It's quite nice for a seven million bounty. The only thing with these ones is obviously you're going to have to do them in low sec, which does mean you are at risk of um, some people trying to come in and gank you. Again, very much play it by ear. I'm not running that many. I'm mixing and matching. I'm doing some low sec missions, some high sec missions. The, the fact that you've now got these high sec missions at two and a half million bounty, three million bounty, if you are a T10 means that you don't have to rely on no sec as much. So you can pick and choose a little bit more. Oh, I forgot my shield booster here. You can pick and choose a little bit more if you think there's some dodgy characters in local. You can see my local here now has just gone back down to three, so it's just me in here. Uh, if you think there's someone dodgy in local, just don't take the risk. Just go and do something else. Okay, let's approach this guy. Approach here. And what are we up to? We're up to about eight minutes on the video. So um, let me see if that's the final wave. It was. So you can see here, after tax, a 6.16 million ISK reward. Um, and that was relatively easy. So certainly, if you're solo, it's going to be a bit more tricky, obviously. Um, uh, but I know that pretty much anything I can do with this fleet, people can do solo just by using range. Um, so it's just going to take you a little bit longer, which does mean you're a little bit more exposed if people do kind of come walking in. So what I'm just going to do now is I'm going to actually just take my fleet home and get them back to the Stargate. So if someone does come in right now, uh, they're not going to get ganked. So jump fleet. Oh, the one thing I forgot to do there is I forgot to collect any loot. Silly me. Okay, so my fleet's going to go out. Yeah, so I should have collected some loot because it is pretty quiet. There's only three people in local, which is just my gang. So I could have taken the time to collect the loot. So that's a bit of a mistake on my part. But anyway, I, I hope you found that interesting. As you can see, the the sort of mid level mid level expert missions um, are are not that hard. Uh, again, there, it, there may be some variation between the type, but certainly that's quite an easy way to, to earn a, a six million uh, bounty and then sorry a big six million reward and then whatever bounties you made on those ships too. So uh, definitely quite happy with that. And again, as you can see, I did that in about seven minutes. So. Even if there are people scanning, um, they only have a minute or two to, to scan you down and then get on top of you. And if you are running a little mini fleet like I am, they may not have their, uh, their backup fleet on hand. So um, again, it gives you a little bit of protection. And that said, this is Eve and no doubt I will get caught sometime with someone with a gang of 10 ships in the next system and they'll just be in the right place at the right time and catch me. But. Uh, there you go. You have to take your chances sometimes if you want to earn some earn some money. 
Uh, anyway, I hope you did enjoy this. Um, if you did, please do like and subscribe uh, to my video and for my content. Um, I know this is very basic stuff. I'm, I'm not kind of using any flashy microphone, so I'm not doing any editing, anything like that. Um, if I did get uh, a large group of subscribers, then I could look at kind of putting a little bit more polish uh, to these videos. But uh, even if you don't subscribe, I do hope you enjoy it anyway. Thank you very much. Take care. Good night.